Hello and welcome back to Excel Video 262. I'm Nate Moore. I'm sending this video from the Washington, Oregon MGMA meeting in Portland, Oregon. I just spoke at a conference this afternoon, a four hour bring your laptop follow along, let's understand pivot tables, see one, do one, teach one presentation. I'd love to do the same for your organization. Let's talk. We're back to the sorting menu. And remember last time we said, hey, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go shift in and the right, shift in and the down arrow to pick up all our data. And then we're going to go to this sort menu and choose custom sort. Remember what custom sort will do is let us sort by more than one thing at a time. Remember last time we could get one item, but if we wanted to do more than that, we had to come here. And what I want to do is just play a little bit with some of the options in this sort window and show you how they work. We were sorting by the due from category, which if I pull this out of the way, is at nurse signal, whoever it's due from, and then by the balance on the claim. And when we sorted on the due from category, we sorted A to Z, the balance we went largest to smallest. And obviously it'd be very easy to just go smallest to largest and click OK. And now we're sorting with the small claims on top, but that's not what we want to do. We really want to go largest to smallest. Let me show you how to tweak and play with this window a little bit. If we wanted to add another level to sort by, you can click Add Level, and it'll say, okay, we sort by due from, then by balance. Then, you know, let's assume that, hey, we organize our receivables by doctor. And so, you know, I work Dr. A's claims, you work Dr. B's kind of thing. So we'll put doctor there, and we'll sort those A to Z. We're, we've been doing values before. You can also sort by the color of the cell, the color of the font or the icon that's in the cell. You say, well, when I ever do that, you know, there's some very powerful ways if you've, and this is a good example, if you've uh, taken your AR and colored all the claims that I'm responsible for red and all the claims that you're responsible for blue, it's very easy to sort red or blue by either the cell color or the font color. Once you've made your analysis, then you can just bring up the person you're responsible for by sorting by color. But let's do it by doctor here and by values just for a minute. So now what I'm doing is I've got first by due from, so I've got Aetna, then Blue Cross, then I've got my balances descending, and then after that I've got physicians. And if you come back and say, you know, I really wish, shift in and down, that I'd sorted it a different way, here's how you do it. If you want to sort by doctor first, I'm just going to highlight that and then bring it up. So now I'm going to sort by doctor, then by the due from, then by the balance. So now here's my doctor, and then my doctor changes. And here are my insurance companies, which are in order within doctor. And then the claims are in order after the doctor and the due from are sorted by. That's how, whoops, let's come back and get it this way. Shift in and down. That's how these sorting levels work. You can move the sorting levels with the up and down arrows to make them do whatever you want. If you say, you know, I don't want to sort by um, insurance company anymore, you can simply delete that level, and that will just sort by doctor, A to Z, and then by balance, largest to smallest. The copy level is what we use to say, hey, if I'm going to copy this, after I sort by balance, I want to sort by the aging period. I can do that, or I can change it. The other thing that this options button will let you do is you can sort, instead of going top to bottom, you know, I've never had to do this, but you could sort left to right. Normally you're sorting top to bottom, and that, that's what I'm always used to. But if you needed to, you could sort left to right. You can also make your sort options case sensitive if you need to. Well, the last thing I want to show you in this menu is just this checkbox that says my data has headers. By checking that box, what it does is instead of having column A here, it knows that my data has headers and it's going to call it doctor. If I take this away, now it's going to say column I and column B. That's harder to understand. So what I'm doing is when I select my sort range, I include the top row with a description of the column in there. And by calling that a header, now it makes it very easy to choose among my options and say, OK, I want balance. I don't have to remember the balances in column I. Those are a bunch of tricks you can use to custom sort. So you're not limited to just one column you can sort by. You can sort by several levels if you need to to get exactly the sort order you're looking for. That's the basics of sorting in Excel. The, again, the big key is make sure you get everything, shift, end, and down before you sort. There's a faster, shortcut, easier way to sort in Excel, and I want to talk about that next time. I look forward to seeing you then.